Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and I had this video so much on my mind. I was thinking about it this morning when I was watching House of Valentina and I wrote that down. I think that's her name. Yeah, House of Valentina on YouTube. She did a video on how to make your home look like these just beautiful masterpiece homes, you know, like the molding, the light. Um, having a plant in your room and so I'm gonna add her link below because I think that she is such a she's a professional interior decorator and I follow her on Instagram too her aesthetic is not like everyone else's and she really just teaches you different things I found her when I was looking um, up white paint the differences in different white paints okay. remember in my video I mentioned how I wanted to just talk to you guys about what I my feelings on the Instagram home the YouTube home and all these beautiful homes and you know just how modern they are and everything and how that can make us feel and I just want to talk to you about that. Okay, this is the first thing. I had a lot of people, I think, kind of misunderstand me, so I want to go ahead and get this straight right out of the way. They work hard. These YouTubers that have these big houses and these huge channels, and they do videos like three times a week. Some of them do vlogs every day a week. People like, I'm trying to think, like Desi. She's worked hard and she has a great following. So therefore, she makes good money. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think in today's society, something has happened where if you make good money, people resent it. Or I don't know, you know, I don't know the thinking because I'm just not that way. I'm not a competitive person. I'm not a jealous person. When I see someone who has a lot, I never for one minute think they don't deserve it. I don't think, you know, I don't think about bashing them or tearing them down. I think, wow, you know, what can I do? Or what did they do to get it? Not even the money aspect of, of it, but aspects of high achievers. So I admire that so much. And so I am in no way taking that away from anyone. I admire it. I love it. So they work hard. One of my favorite channels to watch, and I just discovered them probably when I was looking at houses, is Julia and Hunter. And a a lot of times when I thought of these, I had them in mind because they're young, they work hard, they have a great big beautiful house that I love, and they are the quintessential YouTube, you know, uh, couple that vlogs and kind of a lifestyle channel. Now when I think of Instagram, you know, I did not even know there was a like to know it home Instagram. For until probably maybe a month ago or maybe six weeks ago and so I go on that a lot now on that one I think it's a little different that one I don't know if they're trying to keep their page like their Instagram page looking the same but it just seems like if you don't have all white which I like but I'm just saying if you don't have all white with the um, what's so popular right now the boho or um, farmhouse vibe then you're not going to be on that page and that is because that is a shopping site that is for inspiration and all those pictures if you go on like to know at home you can purchase things that you see so it makes sense it makes sense for them to only do things that you can purchase and things that are popular right now because I'm like that too. If I see something, I think that ooh la la picture that I got, I saw on Like to Know at Home and I liked it. Okay, that brings me to another subject is the husbands or the boyfriends. A lot of times you'll see that the husbands or the boyfriends don't work. They do. They do work. Doing YouTube takes a lot of work. It takes so much time not only does it take time to get ready 
for a video, you can't imagine. And I don't even do what most people do. It takes so much time to get ready for a video. It took time to think and plan out the video. It took time to shop for the video. It takes time to do the video. It takes time to load it. It takes time to edit it. There's John out there with the blower. He's working on stuff on the porch. That's gonna go into something else I'm gonna talk about in a minute. They have to uh, take pictures. They have to edit it. Then, if you'll notice, most of the big YouTubers right now, <laughs> I have to laugh. Most of the big YouTubers right now, they have a lot of like really intricate editing. They have cool music. They have cool words popping up. They have um, the perfect lighting. They have the perfect intro. That takes so much time, you guys. It takes time. It takes talent. It takes dedication. And their husbands or boyfriends are helping them. So between the two of them, putting their time and putting their efforts and their talents together, they are creating content. It's no different than like, you know, if you're watching a TV show or something like that. They're entertaining you, they're teaching you, they're helping you find inspiration, they're helping you find good products, just like Tenny with that sofa. I'd never heard of Living Spaces. So that is what they're doing. So a lot of times I think it's easy to look at a video and think, oh, you know, they don't deserve to make that much money. I don't know, really know how much these, all these people make. I'm just assuming they must make good money. And that kind of goes into something else. So that is that. The husbands are usually doing what an assistant, a cameraman. Um, I wish I had someone to help me because I could get so much more done, but I'm a Virgo and I want to do it all myself. I'm just funny like that. You know that one time I tried to get someone to edit my videos and it was pretty much a catastrophe. I just, I would love to get someone, sorry, to, you know, do my thumbnails, but a lot of times I'm just so funny about wanting to do things in the moment. I don't have time to get someone else to do a thumbnail. Down is their house is part of their job. It's part of their work. So when I bought my house, I had no idea anybody but friends and family would ever see the inside of my home. And I think that was, you know, obvious. So when they are buying these homes, believe me, they are thinking of the light. They're thinking of having a place to do videos. Here I am at my dining room table. But we don't use this table because this is where I film. If I now looking for a house, believe me, I will find a place that I can film and I'm lucky that I have the room over the garage to, you know, do my videos in, but that's still not ideal. A lot of these people, when they purchase their homes, they know it is going to be an Instagram home, a YouTube home. So it's very, very important for them to buy big homes. They work from home. You know, it's no different than if you pay for an office or you pay for, you know, I know Erin Busby pays for a location to do her videos. So you got to think about that too. They're adding in that cost, especially if both of them are doing it. So it's their home and it's their work office they're self-employed and they know it's going to show. Okay, this is something that I had no idea. And this comes from the fact that I've lived here my whole life. So I didn't really, this wasn't a big concept. Of course, I know cost of living is different in different places. I see what people pay for an apartment in Brooklyn. I see what people pay for an apartment in Los Angeles. And I know that there's, that's a lot of the reason that people move from, California to Texas and stuff like that and we were looking at homes and I just I just was like we'd go in I just thought every house in there was going to be just bad to the bone I just thought every house in that neighborhood was going to be decorated like the houses that I see on YouTube I thought that every house in there was going to be modern was going to be up to date was going to be just fabulous I mean I just thought I was going to be knocked off my feet it never happened. It never happened. Then we went into another part of that neighborhood and there were these cookie cutter homes that were smaller than my house, 
but about a couple more thousand higher, a couple hundred thousand higher, that were definitely so beautiful inside. They were the modern farmhouse. They were the bar open to the living room and everything, but they were just like flat on a slab, a little small slab. They were itty bitty yard, which was fine. Just no character, just kind of like thrown there. And that just isn't what I wanted. So we quit looking. Okay, this time we're looking at a different, some different neighborhoods. And I find, and she's showing me all these different houses. We keep going up, we keep going up. We go up, we go up and it just doesn't get any better. And I finally looked at the real estate agent who was a friend and I said, what is it gonna take? What is it gonna take for me to walk in a house and just be, just, you know, my heart stop and be awed at this house? And she said, here, probably a million dollars. And I was like, why? And she said, just because cost of living, houses are high here. And so I started, I don't think, I had ever really watched much HGTV at that time, but then John and I started putting that on when we were cooking. You guys, I cannot believe the amount of house that you can get in Texas, Utah, Arizona, all of these places for four hundred, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars. It is crazy. For here, Five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars is two thousand twenty three hundred square feet or something. There it's like forty five hundred square feet. So that is something that I had to realize that a lot of these YouTubers are living in places that housing the housing market is just different and they can get a lot more house for the money. One of my this is so true and this is what I was talking about with John with the blower out there. I said their partner is involved and cares. Okay, John is the best husband a woman could have. I mean, he really is. But do you guys think that he cares what you think about his recliner? Not one bit. He does not care. I mean, I can't say that he doesn't care like if I were to go out there and tell him, hey, I'm doing a video about the blower, he would care and he would stop, but it wasn't on his mind. He is not like those husbands and boyfriends that you see on Instagram and YouTube that are in it and they care. It's part of their job. It's part of their life. So that is going to be one reason when you see their homes, it's going to be immaculate. It's going to be fashionable. It's going to, their uh, closets are going to look so good because their partner cares. It's part of their thinking. And so that is something to think about too. And that's another reason that their, these um, husbands and boyfriends are, it's not like they're not working. They really are because it's a big job. And I, and if I had someone that cared about you guys and cared about his, my videos as much as I do, there's no telling what I could do. I would be rich too. <laughs> okay, um, a house is a wise investment. Okay, think of a lot of these YouTubers and Instagrammers that are young. Think of um, James Charles and his great big old house. What did he buy it when he was 19? He got a Maybelline deal and you know he blew up and he had all this money coming in. Well, him buying a house was probably a wise investment. It, he, his parents probably thought, you know, that was a wise investment. So he goes and buys a great big house and has it professionally decorated and all this kind of stuff. So think about it that way too. A lot of times they're making a lot of money real fast and that is a good investment for them. Real estate investors and flipping houses. I did notice that a lot of house tours and a lot of house um, videos I saw would be young people that didn't really have um, a channel on lifestyle or makeup or fashion or anything. You could tell was they were in real estate. Either their husband was in real estate or they were together. And then a couple of videos I watched, they actually f were doing flipping houses. And it doesn't mean like buying a house, fixing it up and selling it like on um, TLC or whatever that was. They, this couple I watched actually lives in a house for about two years and then they sell it. They live in a house and then they sell it. I think Nikki Sky, 
or yeah, Nikki Sky. She has a big, beautiful house, and she was saying that they bought that, they're fixing it up, and they're selling it. And I wrote that when I was talking about resenting people, that you know, you have to think God gives all of us a different talent, and you know. Some people can play sports. I'm trying to think, you know, they can sing. Some people can act. Well, engage, having a YouTube channel and having millions of subscribers, that's a talent. It really is. Not everybody can do it. And there's just, you have to appreciate it. You know what I mean? We all have different talents. And I will tell you that showing your home on YouTube is so personal and people are so mean I've had some of the most cruel just um, insulting just smart ass insult insults when it comes to doing my hair in the bathroom uh, my kitchen um, everything in the back gets just criticized to death um, it doesn't matter where I hang my picture, it's the wrong picture, it's the wrong height, um, it's ugly, um, how can you live there, how can you have that sofa, your children can't sit on that sofa, um, you know, it's just, you are ridiculed to death, I'm, I'm not kidding, it is, you, you should have a rug there, you shouldn't have a rug there, you should have a bigger rug there, that rug's ugly, you know, it, it takes so much out of you. Not to even mention these couples that do vlogging and they show what they're eating. They show where they're going. Trust me, you earn your money. You earn it. Anyway, so I hope you guys found this somewhat enlightening or just, you know, just thought about it. Just curious if you think about it like I do. So let me know down below what you think and if that's kind of what you thought too. And I don't really have an exciting outfit on today. I just kind of went with all nude, but I'll do a quick outfit. Okay, so I just have on this little Zara dress in nude. I've never been able to wear it, and I still probably wouldn't wear it. I'd wear the black one by itself, but not the nude one because it still shows like some rumples and stuff. And I just threw this little lightweight tan linen-y type blazer over it, and I have on, let's see if you can see. Yeah, you can over here. The little Schutz sandals. Accessories, I have on just some small Dean hoops, um, Miranda Fry, I love this pendant, I love that design, it just says love, I believe, and um, a Miranda Fry ring, strawberry margarita, and that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other subjects that you'd like to talk about, put them down below. I think this was fun, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.